Nobel Prize winner and Bishop Desmond Tutu was asked one time why he had become an Anglican priest. And he explained that during the time of apartheid, if a black man was walking down the street and a white person was walking toward them, then the black person was expected to step off of the pavement into the gutter and allow the white person to pass by. It was said uh, to be a way that the black person would show the white individual a sign of respect. Well, Desmond Tutu said that one day when he was just a little boy, he said, my mother and I were walking down the street and there was a tall white gentleman in a dark suit walking toward us. And before my mother and I had a chance to step off the sidewalk, as was expected of us, this white man had stepped off the sidewalk instead. My mother and I walked by and this white gentleman tipped his hat to my mother as a sign of respect. I was more than surprised at what had happened, Desmond Tutu said, and so I asked my mother about it. Why did that man do that? And my mother explained, he's an Anglican priest. He's a man of God. That's why he did it. And Desmond Tutu said, when my mother told me that he was an Anglican priest, I decided then and there that I wanted to be an Anglican priest too. And more than that, I wanted to be a man of God. Now there's a side note to that story. The white gentleman who stepped off the sidewalk and allowed Desmond Tutu and his mother to pass, the man who tipped his hat, was a priest named Trevor Huddleston who became very influential in Desmond Tutu's life. When Desmond Tutu contracted tuberculosis, it was Mr. Huddleston who visited him in the hospital. He also offered his books to Desmond Tutu when he went back to school and was trying to catch up. And so when Desmond Tutu became an adult, he turned in his studies to theology. And he also looked to the Anglican Church, where he had first experienced the love and the acceptance of that quiet and extraordinary man Trevor Huddleston. Incidentally, when Desmond Tutu and his wife had their first child in 1956, the name that he gave him? Trevor. Abraham Heschel once said, racism is man's gravest threat to man. It is the maximum hatred for a minimum reason. And in the scriptures in Acts 17 and verse 26, the Bible said that God has created of one blood all the nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. Let us please love one another. Thank you for watching and be kind.